What's up everyone, Tao here, and welcome to Tao M Studio. Um, have you ever wondered what CPU and the graphics card do when you do the video editing? If you ever wondered, you are in the right place. Now today I'm gonna do a quick experiment with the setup I have. Uh, do I'm gonna do a quick video editing just to show you what CPU and the graphics card react when you do the uh, video editing. If you are curious enough, please stay to the end and maybe you will know something you didn't know about. Before I go ahead to do the test, I uh, just want to clarify that when you do video editing, it's not just a CPU and a graphics card involved. Uh, there are also a, a RAM and hard drive involved. But in this video, we will be focusing on the uh, CPU and the graphics card and see how these two components behave. Right, I'm just gonna quickly uh, run through the setup I have here. Uh, the software I'll be using is the Final Cut Pro X. Now I will be only focusing on the Final Cut Pro X. Uh, the, uh, I believe the principle also applied to the Premiere Pro uh, on the Mac. Um, if you have a different experiment, please share within the uh, community. Uh, now the setup I have uh, is the, uh, the, the processor is the i7-6700. The graphics card is the EVGA GTX 980 SC um, ACX 2.0. So it's different, uh, it's, it's improved cooling system. Now the cool thing about this, the fan will not spin until it reach third, a certain uh, power draw. I believe, I believe when the temperature reach the 60 degree and the fan will start spinning. So it's very, very good for the test. So we will see, um, when a, gra uh, when a graphics card actually uh, do the job and will uh, heat up and then fan will start spinning. That means we know the graphics card is doing the job. Now here, the uh, simple test I am going to do is I did a, a quick 4K uh, video uh, from the iPhone 8 Plus I shot today just for the purpose of this. Uh, so I'm going to just go through the uh, step by step. Uh, import and do a quick edit and then do a timeline scrubbing and then do a color correction so just to see how the uh, the CPU and the graphics card behave now for the purpose of this I have here is the um, the CPU monitor so you can see it's a threads this is the four core a threads so that will give indication what the process is doing uh, okay, let's just open the Final Cut Pro and uh, I'm gonna create a new event. So let's call the 4K Zen shot on iPhone 8 Plus. Um, okay, now the footage uh, from the iPhone 8 Plus, it will be 4K at 60 frame per second. And this video actually also show you guys who have same graphics card or the same processor uh, give you guys rough idea how these two components handle the 4K footage. Uh, okay, let's do import. Uh, the footage I will be importing is here and uh, 4K example shot on iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, here we go. Okay, let's import all. So let's see what the the process behave. Uh, as you can see here, all the four core eight threads is doing the importing, and uh, on the top left corner here, uh, it's doing the transcoding. So basically, uh, trying to uh, understand the four K footage and then. Uh, optimize the video quality into the Final Cut Pro X and then when you do edit later on it just increase the smoothness of the editing okay let's just do a timeline scrubbing now keep on the graphics card over here uh, see if actually start spinning so because right now the the graphics card it should be doing some jobs while doing timeline scrubbing because the start actually uh, will accelerate the timeline 
rendering. So let's see how long it's going to take until the fan starts spinning. Let it play. Oh, okay. I can't handle it. Yeah, because the reason it says frame drop, uh, some clip is not optimized. So, yeah, once optimized, and it will play without the frame drop because 4K. So, my setup is kind of be slightly heavy on the on the load. Here we go. The the graphics card starts spinning now. Um, just that the the timeline scrubbing I did. So the graphics card actually pick up the the task and then do the uh, rendering while I'm doing the scrubbing. So as you can see, once you do the scrubbing, yes, graphics card is doing the job. So while the CPU doing the transcoding. Uh, now I'm gonna play this video. Uh, everything has been all the clips have been optimized. Now let's just see how smoothly it will play. Um, here we go without the frame drop so as you can see optimized immediate it does help the editing it just give you a much much better experience when you edit 4k okay now the fan uh, stopped spinning now let me just uh, quickly apply the color correction now see what the graphics card actually will do and what CPU will do uh, let's click on the balance color here we go now one tip if you use the Final Cut Pro there will be some dot lines on top of the clip and that means um, the clip is being rendered so the dot will be disappearing slowly once the clip um, has been uh, rendered so let's see how the graphics card react um, oh. You know what I switch off the render at the background let me switch that thing on here we go okay see um, <laughs> this is a uh, all the a threads has been fully stressed out and that is rendered over here the dot is disappearing. Now the the graphics card is still holding. Okay, here we go. The pad, the temperature of the graphics card has reached, I believe, is sixty. So the fans will start spinning. Move on to the last step is to uh, export the footage. As you can see, one is uh, stopped spinning, but the other one spins very, very slowly. So I'm going to move on to the last test. Uh, now here, I'm going to export a, a master file. Now, just quickly on this, um, when you export the files, I normally export to the uh, H.264 codec. Uh, now, the <laughs> Final Cut Pro does not like the H.264 codec, so it will not uh, neutralize uh, all the um, all the cores or all, all the threads of the CPU. Uh, it really likes the Apple ProRes 422 or higher, so it actually exports super fast. Um, but the the downside of the Pro uh, ProRes is the files are just too big. So here is the 15.5 gig just for one minute and or 40 seconds. So let's move on to the. Um, H.264 um, codec, it only, it only convert to uh, 296 megabytes. So as you can see the difference. Um, but we are going to do the uh, Apple ProRes conversion or export just for the purpose of the test. Uh, we'll see, uh, just keep eye on the uh, CPU load here. Uh, see what happens and uh, uh, where am I going to save it? Let me save on the desktop. Okay, here we go. You can see here it's, uh, it's using all the eight threads. So, and also on the top left, I'm not sure you can actually can see it. And it's 
Storing actually is pretty quick. Uh, transcoding 4K, yeah. So as you can see, the fans, this fan is still, um, still stopped. So that's still spinning. So that means it's not really using the graphics card. Uh, okay, now I'm just going to do a H.264 um, codec exporting just to show you guys what the difference it makes. Now here is the H.264 uh, 4K uh, 296 megabytes and here we go. Uh, no, I'm going to just one. Uh, keep eye on the to CPU usage here. Uh, okay. Uh, can see here. Predominantly, I only use the four cores, so it can't really use up all the eight threads. So, in my opinion, it's it's um, it's not ideal. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't like the H two six four codec. All right, that was the quick uh, demonstration. Hopefully you guys can see uh, clearly um, because it's quite far apart. Uh, now this flash is still stopped. Now, uh, you guys may say, what's the point you're trying to prove? Now there are uh, two points. Uh, one is if you are content creators and if you edit 4K video or edit any uh, videos, because there are two main components uh, you need to uh, concentrate or focus when you actually build a system. One is the processor, the other one is the graphics card. Now, the main job of the processor is to import, export, and also do any encoding. So uh, that actually has the advantage if you have more cores or more physical cores and more, f uh, more, more threads. So that it just increased workflow much, much better. Uh, the efficiency is much much better. Now on to the graphics card point. Now uh, the GTX 980, in my opinion, is a solid solid graphics card for its age. It's not. I know it's quite a few years old now, but as you can see there, handling 4K without any problems. Uh, in fact, it's it's kind of when you play back, it's much smooth within the Final Cut Pro. Um, however, if you uh, have really, really heavy workflow, I would suggest you get the uh, something better with more physical cores, so it will handle the uh, time frame and rendering much, much quicker. So, uh, especially when you do the timeline scrap, so a bad graphics card will delay the, uh, the frames. So you can see between frames, but as you can see on there, it's really, really smooth. And, and also when you do uh, color correction, especially color correction, it's not just on the CPUs, as you can see from there, it's also down to the graphics card. So the graphics are acting as a accelerator to help out the CPU to do the overall tasks. So um, the CPU plus graphics card, so these two combined, a uh, 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 good ones will give you much, much efficient workflow. Um, having that said, um, there are also two more components, which is the RAM and the, the hard drive. Uh, I added everything onto the SSD, so that also will help the, um, the, the, the workflow. Uh, if you're running on the uh, mechanical drive, the experience uh, may be different, especially on the slow mechanical drives. So you will experience some slowness when you do the live editing, especially when you do 4K or maybe 8K editing. Alright guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, experiment and um, hopefully some of you out there who are curious about this thing now have better vision on what do those two components do while you do the video editing. Uh, if you liked the video, please click on the like and share with others so we can get the knowledge across. Uh, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with my channel, please subscribe so you can see more video like this in the future see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe